Hi again guys, so uh, another Gran Turismo 6 tuning video for you today and this time it's for a, a particular favourite of mine, the Pagani Zonda um, this model is the C12S 7.3 which is the top of the range version so uh, yeah, let's get on with it racing soft tyres as always, you don't have to fit them but they do give you uh, a little bit extra top speed and obviously better handling uh, I've got my ride height on 60 as you can see uh, now with the Zonda, um, if you've driven it before you've probably noticed that it is very tail heavy and at high speed on Route X it likes to suddenly flick out the rear end and spin out for no apparent reason. So uh, I've had to increase the roll bars right up to 7, put the camber really high compared to what I'd usually have, 3 on the front, 4 on the back. I've got the toe on neutral so it's not dragging its wheels. Uh, for the gearbox, uh, auto setting as high as possible and uh, I've got the final drive on 2.7 um, fifth and sixth looks a bit rounded off, I'm not sure if I've changed those I'm not sure, I don't think I have but just check it against your numbers and, and uh, excuse me, see what you've got uh, for the diff, same as always low torque, high acceleration, low braking for power, do everything, fit the NOS, I would recommend fitting the NOS on this car definitely because it is a very competitive car. Uh, weight loss, obviously, as always. Uh, I've got traction control turned uh, off, as always, as well, because that does give you slightly quicker acceleration off the line. Uh, so here we go. See how fast the Zonda is. Now, um, I know a lot of people feel differently, but I vastly prefer the Zonda to the Huayra. I know the Huayra is a far faster car, but to me, the Zonda will always be Pagani's legacy. The Huayra may be fast, you know, faster in real life and on the game, but to me, the Zonda is just a nicer car. It's the Huayra is like a digital um, beast, whereas the Zonda is a purely mechanical um, monster of a car. You know, it's all about the driving pleasure, not just going as fast as possible. Which I know the Huayra is as well, but I think you know what I mean anyway. So I'll give it a little bit of NOS just to kick it up into 6th gear. And uh, yeah, this car is very quick. Um, it used to do 285 without NOS, but I gave it a retweak the other day and now it does 294. Which is very impressive, considering it's got a lot less power than uh, than the Huayra. And uh, I actually use this car in racing online quite a lot. And it's, I must say, it's very competitive, considering its power disadvantage to the Huayra. It, it can keep up pretty well. Um, it's good on the curve. I believe it can do about 310 or something with NOS. And with draft, it'll go up to about 325, if you use NOS, obviously even quicker. But, yeah, it's a very good car. I prefer it to the Huayra, although it's not as fast. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully you, you'll enjoy this car as much as I do. And, uh, as always, thanks for watching.